Hey yo, what is up everybody? It's B Milton. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host here on the Redskins Review. And you guys, I just want to make this video um, kind of talking about the Washington football team's season now that it's over. Um, and first things first is I didn't, you know, I didn't think, I don't think a lot of us thought that our, maybe our record might have been what it was, but I don't think we all would have guessed that we'd be going to the playoffs and then playing as well as we did in the playoffs with Taylor Heineke. I don't, you know, the the way that the season ended up going, I don't think we would have seen. Um, you know, we had so much stuff we had to go through. Um, you know, our coach getting cancer and couldn't even stand up for half of the game sometimes because he had to get a IV in the locker room and had to sit on the bench and just so much stuff going on. Alex Smith was our best quarterback for a majority of the season. And he's coming off of 17 surgeries on his leg, almost lost his leg. Um, Chase Young comes into uh, the team and becomes basically the leader of the team, um, especially the defense. But I kind of have to start this video off by doing something that is probably going to hurt a lot of people's ears and a lot of people uh, don't want to hear. But I have to start this video off by thanking um, Dan Snyder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Got to give it to Dan Snyder. Um, I understand, you know, the past hasn't been great. I understand um, there's a lot of people that, you know, are not going to want to give him any credit. But credit where it's due, he went out and got Ron Rivera. And Ron Rivera single-handedly pretty much changed his team around and turned the culture around in this in this locker room really, really fast. Um and I remember when we got Jack Del Rio, and uh, I saw a bunch of stats about Jack Del Rio, and you know the last couple of places he's been, he took you know like a a really bottom of the barrel like defense and turned him into like the fifth best or something in one season or whatever. And uh, you know I just remember seeing that and being like, oh man, that that would be awesome or whatever. And he came here and he did that too. Uh, we were ranked 27th overall in defense uh, last year. We ended second in the league this year. So yet again, they are they are ad advertised. Jack Del Rio came in here and did that. Um, Ron Rivera came in here. You know, early there were some things that I didn't really agree with, like the whole Adrian Peterson thing, like just letting him go. Um, Dwayne Haskins... I wasn't a fan of Dwayne Haskins from the very get-go, um, and I thought we let him play too long. I mean, I wanted to, but then when, um, you know, I thought we let him play too long or whatever, but then when our season, when we were like 1-5 and five or something like that, I was like, all right, you know, what are we? then I was for putting him in because I wanted to see, then I wanted to make, you know, no doubts that he's not the guy and then everyone could just move on and stop talking about him. Um, but I'm glad Ron Rivera did what he did because we were still in the running for the NFC East and it was the right call and everything. And um, so, man, there's just so much to go on. Um, it was a really good season, even though our record was 7-9. and nine, I think everyone knows that this team, um, you know, we went through a lot of struggles. One thing is we've stayed relatively healthy, which that doesn't normally happen. Um, being a fan of the team, you know that that's rare. And that's one thing we have to be worried about next season is that maybe some of the success came from how um, healthy we stayed. Primarily, like, you know, compared to other seasons we know of um, where we were, like, having so many injuries and everything. Um, the offensive line played well all season. Um, not perfect, but not not bad. Um, our defensive line, our, de our entire defense you know, had their ups and downs, but they were had to have been one of the best uh, red zone defenses I've seen in a long time. Going all the way back to the Steelers game, holding holding them um, holding them six uh, tries in a row on the one yard line, um, and that's really what I want to get to is that I, I made posts about this and everything. And growing up here in Baltimore um, and being a Redskins fan, um, you know. I have friends that I just want to talk to about, you know, and have and talk football with and, you know, but there's just so many other, I'm surrounded by so many Ravens fans that 
they probably don't even know shit about football. They're just a fan of the team. And when they see that I'm a Redskins fan, you know, they're going to give me shit over and over and over. There's some Ravens fans that are um, friends of mine and, you know, we can talk football, this or that. You know, we still take those jabs at each other, you know, because that's just it's a competitive game and we do that. But at the end of the day, we're still friends and everything. But there's just so many of these people that don't want to give us credit. They just want to shit talk us and um, never give us any credit and uh, call us like, you know, the NF- NFC least and you guys are the worst in NFC least and you call us like all these names and everything. But this season, um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened in the locker room. You know what I mean? I don't know how, like exactly how the culture changed in the locker room and things like that. I know Chase Young had a big uh, part of that. I know <clears throat> the new coaches and Ron Rivera and everybody had a big deal in that. But the reason that I can sit here and tell you for sure that something changed and the culture is changing in Washington is because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's because all these people that you would used to not want to give us credit, all these Ravens fans that didn't want to, you know, give us credit for anything or, you know, say good game or, you know, hey, you guys got something going on. You guys got a bright future, something like that. When we beat the, when we beat the Steelers and, you know, we beat some of these teams at the end of the season then we go into the playoffs here and do what we just did with Taylor Heineke with, you know, a backup and they see Alex Smith out here battling and everything. I've seen so many people that in the past would never, ever give us any type of credit and they just wanted to shit talk the the Redskins and the Washington football team, all the no names. And, you know, they that's what they were doing all season until, you know, we got our shit together and everything and we beat the, the Steelers and, you know, won some other games, uh, hard fought games. Then now, I can say that the the, the actual um, culture has changed because not even just us or within our sphere, there's people out here who would never ever want to give us credit and just shit talk us. They are the ones I'm seeing now. They were picking us for an upset to beat the Buccaneers or whatever. It was something they would never do in the past. Even though they want us to beat the Buccaneers because they don't like Tom Brady or whatever, they would have never said that. They would have never said that to me. They would have never put that on Facebook. They would have never even said it because they don't want to give us any credit. And the last thing they want to do is give us credit too. Or, you know, say that, you know, something's changing or whatever. They just want to make fun of us. But this season, and like I said, when we were going into that Buccaneers game, I saw multiple people who would never have given us credit. They were like, I, I got them on an upset. And like I said, and if people, other fans of other teams are doing that, that means something has really changed. And they and they don't sit here and watch a team every week like we do. But when they've seen us play uh, the blowout on Thanksgiving uh, and beating the steel, undefeated Steelers, watching Alex Smith do what he did coming back from an injury, watching us going and playing in the, in the playoffs with a four-string Taylor Heineke that walked off the or came off the streets two weeks before that um you know they they've given us a lot of credit and even when I was out there watching the game and I was the only Washington fan there um still got a lot of credits you know like everybody was was like man you guys had a hard hard fought game and um like gave us credit and or whatever and that's something that would not have happened in the past and that's what I'm telling you and the next thing I want to bring up um you know there's going to be a lot of Taylor Heineke talk in the future and everything but I'm just gonna say this man when I was at my friend's house and it was like a bunch of Ravens fans there um you know what I mean like maybe a couple other fans other teams too but um when we were watching the the Washington Buccaneers game and when Taylor Heineke made that run and dove for the pylon and got that touchdown I that to to be completely honest with you that is one of my favorite Redskin and Washington football team plays I've ever seen. Like, it is one of my favorite best moments of this football team. And I, when I saw that, the first thing I said was, that's like Russell Wilson. Like, that guy plays like Russell Wilson. He's small like Russell Wilson. He's, he evaded so many tackles. And, like, whenever the, the protection was breaking down, and then he scampered for that touchdown and and dove for the pylon or whatever. When that happened, I was like, "That's Russell Wilson, like that." He's like a he's a like a white Russell Wilson man. That's what he, that's what he that's what I thought he was. 
At least that's what I don't like. I said I don't know in the future how he's gonna play. I don't know if it's gonna turn out well for him here. I don't know if he's our future. I don't know. I don't know. But everyone, that's what the whole speculation is about right now. Can Taylor Heineke keep doing this? And um, but for that night, he threw the ball well. Um, he was definitely the best passer we've had all season. And the very beginning of the game, uh, we gotta let Cam Sims go. I'm sorry if you guys are still a Cam Sims believer. In the playoffs, the second play of the game, Taylor Heineke throws the ball deep right in his hands and he drops it. Like, that's a game changer. You know what I mean? That's a game changer. I don't know. I, I can't remember if what the score was at the time. I think it was 3 to nothing or something like that. And we have a chance to go down the field. And our second play from scrimmage, Taylor Heineke, a dude walking off the street, throws a perfect pass. Like, uh, you know, I, there's been some good ups and downs with Cam Sims, but it's too many downs for Cam Sims for me. I'm, we need to replace uh, what we all know that we need better receivers, but man, what a game! Uh, what a season! Uh, a lot of highlights, you know. Like I said, beating the Dallas Cowboys two times, um, beating the Eagles two times, beating uh, you know, like winning on Thanksgiving in such um, fashion. Uh, watching Montez Sweat kill it, watching our defensive line kill it. Um, Deron Payne had a good game, and 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 this is another thing. Um, when it comes to the playoff game, you know, uh, nobody really expected us to win and everything. But when it comes down to it, our offense played well. Our offense played better than our defense, and our defense is a strength of the team. Um, and the last time I checked, it was um, Chase Young saying, "I want Tom Brady and this or that," and. If it, if you have to, I know I'm not gonna try to point any finger. I don't like pointing fingers at, at anybody for a loss or whatever. But our pass rush wasn't enough. Our just our pass rush was not enough against Tom Brady. He had too much time to throw the football. And and the thing is, like if you go back and watch, our our uh, corners weren't doing such a bad job. Whenever Tom Brady would throw the ball, their receiver would literally like slide on the ground and like just the ball would be perfect where it needed to be out of our our guy's hands. And like I said, it wasn't like our our coverage was bad. It was just Tom Brady was that good, and he um we, our pass rush wasn't getting to him. Now I've also seen videos of Chase Young being held and not being called. That's true too. I've seen that stuff. Um, but still, regardless, like I said, it's we're expecting for our defense to go out there and be the strength of our team, like it's been all all season. And then when it comes up to time for them to do that. They did have a good game too. They held them in the red zone plenty of times, but when it comes down to it, if you had to put your finger on why we lost the game, Tom Brady had too much time to throw, and he and our linebacker he attacked our linebackers on the middle of the field, uh, who already aren't great, so you can't really blame them. Um, so that's what happened. But in, all in all, successful season. Um, I didn't think Ron Rivera was going to be able to come in here and have the type of impact that he had. Um, and also, like I said, give credit to Jack Del Rio as well because, I mean, it doesn't, the stats don't lie, man. Like I said, if you look at his other teams that he's acquired, a, whenever he's been uh, been a defensive coordinator, he's taken over another team, they've had, like, bottom of the NFL, like, stats, and the next year, they're, like, top five defense. And, uh, like, that's him. And, he's like I said, nothing's been perfect. I, there's been times where Jack Del Rio makes questionable calls, you know what I mean? But now, like I said, what what has happened, and I'm just glad that we went to the playoffs. Um, and like I said, if anybody wants to try to say something about, oh, we were 7 or 9 or whatever, that's why I, I think, you know, it's not that big of a deal because everybody saw what we did. We represented the NFC East well. Like, okay, we don't have the offensive weaponry that, um, that the Buccaneers have. And uh, our defense didn't play their best. They still played pretty well, but just not their best. It's it's whatever. They they were the better team that day. Um, but I don't think I don't think people are gonna look back on this team, this Washington team, and say, you know what? Like they were so trash. They were seven and nine and got into the playoffs. They're bad. People saw this team fight, and that's the whole moral of this season. And that's what is optimistic about going forward is that. We were all we were all skeptical, you know what I mean? Of sure, of course we we know that Ron Rivera is a good coach, and you know we expect 
culture change to happen. We expect to see the team get better over time, but we weren't expecting it to happen this fast. And now that it has happened this fast, we can all sit back and relax. You know what I mean? Let let these guys do their thing. Um, and that's the same thing that the players will do. You know, hey, this guy, all right, we came in here and they changed the, the whole culture in one season and, and made this team into a team that never quit. Um, we were down in a lot of games this season. And then in the second half of games, our defense shut people out like no other. And that wouldn't have happened if we didn't fight, if we didn't have the fight in us. And that's what I'm going to remember this season about, I guess. And, I, you know, there's so much more I could talk about, but I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, this is going to be a season of... <laughs> just look at my cat. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how to do it because it's behind me. But, um, but yeah, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to remember this season about is this, this team fought their ass off even when we were down in games, um, and they never gave up. And that has something to do with Ron Rivera and wanting to play for him and we haven't had a coach like that we have not seen this in forever forever um so get ready to sit back uh and Ron we trust now like I said I just, I'm not gonna lie to you there's times where in the beginning of the season there's things that happened where I was questioning but like I said now we can all relax and in Ron we trust let them let them get this team better let's get a Get a good draft in here, some better wide receivers, more offensive weaponry, so we can score more points. If we if we had our defense plan next year, like we we they played this year, and we are scoring more points, look out. You know, if we have if we have consistent quarterback play, um, next year, look out, man. And that's what even a lot of NFL analysts are saying. You know, find a veteran quarterback and throw him in there, and look out. And that's, that's what we're going to be looking for. So, as always, hail to the football team. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.